We've been telling you about the effort to improve how the state tracks data on mothers who die and those who barely survive childbirth. This week, the lawmaker behind the legislation testified before a House committee. State Representative Sean Theory from Houston told lawmakers the state cannot wait any longer to have updated data. Our mothers erased investigation in 2019 found problems with how Texas tracks maternal deaths and near deaths. Theory's bill would create a work group to establish the first statewide online maternal mortality and morbidity data registry. Theory says the web portal would collect data from hospitals and other health care providers on deaths and near deaths during or within one year of delivery. We want to understand which interventions at the patient, clinic, and community levels would have the greatest benefit to improving our maternal health in the state. Theory also told the Public Health Committee the bill would not require any extra funding beyond what the state has already set aside for maternal health. The next step is a committee vote. If it passes then, the bill heads to the full house. We have a closer look at the bill and our Mother's Erase investigation online now. Just look for the link in this story in the Texas Politics section of this station's website. As we wrap up this week's program, we want to acknowledge a milestone in the Texas Senate. This week, State Senator Judith Zaffarini cast her 65,000th consecutive vote. She's never missed a vote since she joined the Texas Senate in 1987. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick paused Tuesday to acknowledge the milestone. Yesterday morning, she recorded her 65,000th consecutive vote. 65,000 consecutive votes. That's just unbelievable. After the recognition, Zaffarini's fellow senators gathered around her desk to congratulate her, and Lieutenant Governor Patrick presented her with a special gavel to honor the occasion. No Texas lawmaker has ever come close to matching her streak of consecutive votes. Senator Zaffarini sent out a news release after the recognition. She said, in part, after faith and family, public service is my highest priority. The most fundamental part of that is being present and casting every vote. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle. We'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics. Have a great day.